Hello future engineers and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay? So our topic to, uh, for this video is uh, general plane motion under uh, kinematics of uh, rigid bodies. Okay? And we will solve a uh, problem uh, we will solve general plane motion problem using uh, two methods which is the relative velocity method and then instantaneous center method okay but first okay uh, general motion is a combination of rotation motion and a translation motion okay so uh, let's start to solve this problem okay uh, and we will use first the uh, relative velocity method okay so upon analyzing the the mechanism of this of this figure okay when uh, point o uh, rotate using this angular velocity uh, equal to 12 radian 12 radian per seconds Okay, so point A will uh, move to the uh, left or the velocity uh, at point A will uh, go to the left. Okay, the direction is to the left. Okay, and simultaneously uh, point B will go up this one. Okay, so that is the mechanism of this uh problem okay so to solve this problem i will give you a uh, steps or direction on how to solve this problem so here we go so step number one locate a point where magnitude and direction is known okay so from this figure uh the uh, the direction and magnitude is uh, this one okay since uh, since as previously mentioned the direction of velocity at the, at point a is going to the left and we can compute the magnitude using the relation between the linear velocity and the angular velocity okay so the direction at point a is going to the left and Let's compute the magnitude using angular, the angular velocity and the linear velocity, which is uh, linear velocity VA is equal to ROA, ROA, or that is also known as the radial length multiplied by the angular velocity, this one. Okay, so substituting the given values. Uh, the radial length is 0.5 and then the angular velocity is 12 radian per second. Okay, so value of uh, velocity at A is equal to 6 meters per second. So we will put 6 meters in our diagram, this one. Okay, so let's proceed to step number 2. Locate a point whose direction is known. So as previously discussed again, uh, that uh, when point O rotates uh, counterclockwise, okay, point A will move to the left and simultaneously point B will go up. So to locate a point uh, uh, whose direction is known is at point B. Okay, so uh, let's go to the... Uh, Number three, or the third step. Okay, so uh, divide the motion of the body as the sum of a translation motion. Okay, so uh, translation motion. So translate the body, this one, road AB. So translate the body with a translating velocity. So we will translate only the velocity, this one. Okay, and that is also equal to this one and rotate it or oh, and the rotation motion rotate it about a fixed point a this one a fixed point a where the v the vba is the perpendicular velocity 
with res with respect to with respect to its radial length. So the radial length uh, would be a b this one, okay? And this is uh, perpendicular, okay? And and the relation is uh, v b is equal to the sum of the vertical component of b a this one and v a b this one, okay? So and that is equal to v b okay and then simultaneously draw the vector diagram okay so the vector diagram of that process is uh, the vab is this one and then the va is this one and then the vb is this one okay so using trigonometry using this angle uh, the 30 30 degree angle for this point and this one is 60 uh, we can compute the value of the angle here which is equal to 60 okay so so from the vector diagram uh, we can compute the value of bb is equal to 10.38 and uh, vba is 12 point uh, 12 meters per seconds okay you can compute that using uh, trigonometric function of angle and uh, one leg okay so step number four use the relation between the linear velocity and the uh, angular velocity okay so before we proceed so i think number one is already solved velocity of piston b this one okay and we will compute the angular velocity of rad AB using the relation between the linear velocity and the angular velocity. Okay, so the angular velocity, this one, PBA, okay, this one is equal to the uh, radial length AB. Multiply it by it. Multiply it by the angular velocity since we are computing the angular velocity and we have the value of VBA or V or the velocity at B with respect to A, okay? And radial length is given as 0.6, okay? And then substituting the given values, okay? BVA, uh, an angular velocity at B with respect to A is equal to 20 rajan per second, okay? So, let's have a recap. Velocity at of point B, and that is equal to 10.39 meters per second. And the angular velocity of rad AB at the instant shown, uh, that is equal to uh, 20 rajan per second. Okay, so uh, we will compute it also, uh, same problem, and using an instantaneous method and uh, we will check if the, the answer for 1 is the same, okay? So, let's proceed to continuous method, okay? This one, okay? So, steps to solve instantaneous center method, okay? So, step 1 is the same as the step from the relative velocity. Locate a point where magnitude and direction is known where it is at point A and then we will compute the magnitude using the angular and the linear velocity. Okay, so VA uh, is equal to the radial length multiplied by the angular velocity substituting the given values and VA is equal to 6 meters per second. Okay, so step number 2. Okay, step number two, locate a point whose direction is known. Okay, so this is also the same from the uh, steps from the relative velocity method. Okay, so uh, direction known is at point B. And then step number three, okay, draw a perpendicular line to the velocity. We will call intersection as I. Okay, so if this is the velocity, one velocity, or velocity at A and velocity at B, we will draw a line perpendicular to that uh, velocity. Okay? 
So, this one. Okay? So, this line is perpendicular to velocity. And this line is perpendicular to velocity V. And the intersection is, uh, we will call it I. So, uh, I means instantaneous center. Okay? Okay? So, the I means the instantaneous center. Okay, so the instantaneous center is this one. Or uh, that is also called as the center of rotation. That is the center of rotation for the rod uh, A, B. Okay? So, uh, from this, uh, uh, from this uh, uh, diagram, uh, we can draw a triangle. This one where... A, this one, and the intersection is I, and the V for this one, okay? And the length of of uh, length of AI, and we will call it as a radial length. Radial length AI and radial length uh, VI, okay? And we will multiply it, uh, this uh, radial length, will multiply it by the angular velocity of rad AB, to get the uh, the uh, perpendicular velocity uh, with respect to the uh, radial length. Same also for this one, for the radial length bi. Okay? We will multiply the, this uh, radial length to the angular velocity of rad AB to get the uh, velocity at B. Okay? So... Uh, based on a trigonometric function, we can compute the value of our of the radial length AI and radial length BI. Okay, so from that, uh, we will also include here the uh, the velocity, velocity at A, and the velocity at B. Okay, so from there. Uh, we can proceed to step number 5. Use the relation between the linear velocity and the angular velocity. Okay, so the linear velocity, the linear velocity VA is equal to uh, radial length AI uh, and then the angular velocity of the rad AB. Okay, so again, VA is a uh, uh, linear velocity and this RAI and angular velocity of AB is an angular velocity. Okay? So, substituting, I think we have a value of the VA, this one. And our RAI is this one. So, we can solve the value of the angular velocity of rad AB. Okay? Substituting and then we uh, the value of the angular velocity of rad AB is equal to 20 rajan per second okay and then to compute the velocity of piston this one okay we will we will use the value of the rotation of the rad ab and multiply it by the uh, radial length okay so uh, uh, the equation is VB is equal to this one, which is equal to the uh, radial length uh, BI and the angular velocity AB. Okay, so this is again a relation between the velocity and an angular velocity. Okay, and then our, the radial length is this one and then the angular velocity is 20 rajan per second. So substituting we can have the value of the BB is equal to 10.39 per second. So, so as you can notice, a velocity of, of piston B is 10.39 and is also the same. Okay, then the angular uh, angular velocity is 20 rajan per second. Okay, so that's all for the topic for today and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe below and hit the bell button for the new engineering tutorial video Keep